Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss back again with another video and today we're going to do a quick unboxing of the Apple iPhone 6S Plus. Now, I know I'm a little bit late to the game, but if y'all know my policy, I'm not waiting in line for no Apple products, especially the S series because those are basically just minor upgrades from the previous model, so not really high on my priority list, so I get it when I get it, so I finally got it. Now, before we take a look at this, let's just run through the main specs that you need to know. First up, the price. Now, I got this from Sprint. It's available in three different models. You got a 16 gig version that's gonna run you $750 plus tax, so you're looking at 800 bucks. You got a 64 gig version that's gonna run you $850, so you're looking at around 900 bucks. And you got the big boy, the 128 gig version that's gonna run you $950, after tax, you're looking at around a cool thousand bucks. So the price is pretty savage. Now, as far as the display, you got a 5.5 inch IPS LCD capacitive touchscreen with a resolution of 1080 by 1920. Now that's 401 for the PPI Patrol. Now you do get 3D touch or frost touch, whatever you want to call it, and you get digital zoom. Now, as far as the processor, this phone is running the A9 chipset which is a dual core processor clocked in at 1.84 gigahertz and you're getting two gigs of RAM on board. Now the phone is running iOS version 9 which is upgradable to iOS 9.02. Now as far as the camera on the rear you got a 12 megapixel shooter with a dual tone LED flash that shoots 4k video and now they added optical image stabilization so that's a huge upgrade right there. On the front you got a 5 megapixel camera that shoots 720p video at 240 frames per second. Now the battery is 2,750 milliamps, non-removable, no fast charge. <laughs> as far as the body, now they upgraded the body to 7,000 series aluminum. So all the iCast that was worried about bending the phone, you're not gonna have that problem anymore. This phone does have the traditional iPhone fingerprint scanner. Uh, you do get Apple Pay. And it comes in four different colors. So you got space gray, silver, gold and pink okay not rose gold pink mm -hmm. all your cats if you never seen the uh, the rose gold version before you order it go to the store and check it out for yourself it's not really rose gold it's pink okay let's be clear about that now that the specs out of the way let's get to my favorite part the unboxing now if you ever bought anything from Apple you already know what to expect this is one of my favorite products to unbox because Apple they know how to do it all right nice slick looking presentation let's grab the Batman knife today all right, no beast mode. You already know for this price, no beast mode necessary, fellas. You got to enjoy this one. All right, okay. So let's see what you get inside. Okay, so here's your phone. Typical Apple presentation, really nothing changed. Okay, of course, inside, say it with me. The usual books and shit. Really, not even that, the usual pamphlets and shit because Apple don't really do books like that. Here's your little pamphlet. And of course, your traditional Apple stickers to go and troll all your Android friends. All right? That's exactly what those are for. They don't say it in the book, but that's what those are for. Here's your headphones. Typical Apple headphones. Now, these usually sound pretty good. I don't have to test them out right now, but these usually sound pretty good. And I like the way they present them to you. Real nice and classy. Here's your charging brick. And here's your lightning adapter. Now, one thing I always hated about iPhones is how short the light, <laughs> how short the cable is. All right, this cable is really short. But easy fix for that. Just go on Amazon and buy some of these. Buy some aftermarket zero lemon cables, thick braided cables, about three feet worth of cables. All right, so I really never use this. I immediately drop these on. All right, and here's the phone. Beautiful looking phone. Okay, got the gold version. Let's see if we got any juice right, right out of the box. Here's your power button. Your SIM drops right in there. Speakers on the bottom. 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, lightning adapter. Volume up and down, vibrate on and off switch. Camera and your flash and your Apple logo and your antenna. So basically nothing changed. Now, as far as the difference between the 6S Plus and the 6, uh, the 6, <laughs> the 6 Plus and the 6S Plus, I know when I did that case video, I said the dimensions was pretty much the same, but it's a little bit thicker by maybe one to two millimeters thicker, 
which doesn't make a difference. Now, all of the cases that I've tried and that I've given to other people, they've all fit. So you shouldn't have a problem, but certain cases might not fit. They might fit a little too snug, but all the speed and various cases that I got, they fit on the 6S Plus and they fit on the 6 Plus. All right, so dimensions, pretty much the same. All right, so now what I'll do is I'll pause the video. I'll throw some information in. We'll just check out the UI real quick. But before we even do that, we got to do the traditional size comparison with all of the big phones. All right, now I'm not going to do all of the phones that I got. We'll just put put this against some of the bigger phones that's on the market so you get an idea of what you're getting into. Now, say you get a Galaxy Note 5. Okay, let's stand this up. Okay, your iPhone is a little bit taller and a little bit wider. All right, so a little bit taller and wider than the Galaxy Note 5. And it's gonna be the same thing with your Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. Okay, so the iPhone 6S Plus is a little bit bigger. Now take a look at the difference in the gold. Okay, so here's your gold S6 Edge Plus and here's your gold S6 Plus. Okay, the gold on the Galaxy phone is a lot more shimmerier, a lot blinging, <laughs> blinging a little bit harder and at the right angle in the sun will definitely blind you. Okay, the iPhone is not really going to blind you unless you catch somebody with the Apple logo. Other than that though, personally I think I like the gold better on the Galaxy. The iPhone is a little bit bigger. LG V10. Okay, now this is a big boy phone right here. LG V10, pretty much the same size. All right, exactly the same height. It looks like the V10 might be a little bit wider, if not exactly the same width. All right, so pretty much same size phone, the V10 and the 6S uh, Plus. Now, for one of the biggest phones, this used to be the biggest phone I got now, but this is the second biggest phone, Nexus 6. All right, so the Nexus 6, height-wise, about the same, but the Nexus 6 is a little bit wider. And believe it or not now, fellas, I, I know I just unboxed this phone a couple of days ago, but this phone is a heavy hitter. I got to do a full review on this so y'all can see for yourself. This blue Pure XL, this is a heavy hitter. All right, later for that OnePlus 2, if you only if you only want to spend 350 bucks and you want a big dog, get this. Now, get me don't get me wrong. It's a, this is the biggest phone that I got. If you notice, it's even bigger than the 6S Plus. All right, the blue XL, the Pure XL, it's a huge phone. Now, these are both gold, pretty much the same tone. But this one is $350. This one is $800. All right, and I'm pretty sure if we do a head-to-head -head shootout, the blue XL is going to have more features, but it's not going to it's not going to run as smooth as the iPhone. And iPhone is probably just going to going to edge it out with a little bit more refinedness. But if you just want a heavy hit of phone for 350 bucks, trust me when I tell you, that's the only reason I'm even showing this phone. This XL is a beast. All right, but it's the biggest phone that I got because of those bezels. So it's even bigger than your iPhone 6S Plus. All right, so that's the size comparison right there. Let me pause the video real quick. Oh, real quick also, if you do get an iPhone 6 S Plus in gold and you happen to want to know is it, how it's going to look with your uh, iWatch, <laughs> Apple Watch. All right, here's the gold Apple Watch and here's the gold 6S Plus. So basically the same color, so it will match perfectly. All right, so let me pause the video real quick. Let me drop my information in here and we'll just uh, breeze through the UI real quick. Talk amongst yourselves. Okay, so I just activated the phone, put all my information in, dropped the speaker and crystal clear case on. Now we're ready to go. All right, so let's take a look at the UI real quick. As you can see, the fingerprint scanner works flawlessly. Basic Apple presentation. Now, when you scroll down, you get your today screen. Here's the time and the date. Shows you your battery percentage on the phone. And if you got it paired up with a watch, shows your battery percentage on the watch. Here's your calendar, your stocks. And if you had any events scheduled for tomorrow, they'll be right there. Click over, you got all your notifications. Okay, I just put in Instagram, so that's basically all I got on deck right now. If you swipe over to the left, here's your series suggestions. All right, so the apps I just downloaded. Shows you what's nearby, your restaurants, coffee, shopping, gas. Here's your news briefing. All right, click on it, take you straight to the news. If you swipe up, here's your quick toggles. So you got airplane mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, do not disturb, and your screen orientation. You also have a brightness toggle. Here's your music player controls, and here's your flashlight. You got a uh, timer, calculator, and quick access to the camera. Okay? Other than that, pretty straightforward. Not too much upgrade from your iPhone 6S. Now, you do have the uh, force touch, so let's see how that works. Now, all you got to do is press down. 
So, okay, so now this is force touch or 3D touch, whatever you want to call it. Just press down, and that opened up a little uh, application, a little application shortcut. So I could redeem or search from right there. Same thing now. If I force touch on the email, pulls up how many inboxes I got. VIP search new message. I right, so we'll get into all of that when I do the real review. Still, if you hold down on the app, not the force touch. If you just hold down all the way, you'll be able to uh, to move it. How was I doing? I was just doing that. All right, I got to get the hang out. There we go. All right, so that'll open it up so you can move around the apps. All right, so you got Force Touch, and you're still able to rearrange the apps. Not too not too customizable like Android phones, but you can still move them around. No uh, pinch, in, pinch and zoom and switching all the home screens at once. None of that crazy stuff. But this is uh, iOS, so you already know what to expect. All right, when I do the real review, hit me up in the comments and let me know is there anything specific that y'all want me to touch on. Otherwise, I'm going to do it the way I always do it. We're going to tear this down. <laughs> We're going to tear this down piece by piece. We're going to get to the bottom of this. Also, now you have your cards. Okay, so now you can sweep, uh, swipe out. This is your multitasking cards. You know, if you want to call it that. <laughs> like I said, we'll, we'll get into that in a minute, though. Other than that, though, right out of the gate, I'm definitely feeling this phone. like the look of it. like the build. Smooth, uh, smooth OS. No lag so far. But like I said, we'll put it to the test and we'll see. Now, if y'all see my iPhone 6, my iPhone 6 Plus review, then it's pretty much the same thing. This is just an upgraded version. All right, we'll test the camera. We'll test the speakers. We'll try to get it to lag. We'll do everything. But right out the gate, though, it's looking good. I'm feeling this so far. All right, so hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. And like I said, if y'all want to see anything specific in the full review, then I will get into that, too. Shout out to everybody that rock with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time. 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the Amazon Warrior on Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys allowed. Alright, that's the Instagram if y'all want to come through. And y'all see straight savageness on my page only. All right. No emotional, no emotional posts, straight savageness only. Oh yeah, one more thing. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces.